Okay, so it's good to be in the know, have good friends. One of my friends in the industrial sector got me some of this uh, inch and a quarter uh, tubing, which is going to work out really, really fantastic um, for structural mounts. I forgot the term they use for it, um, for structural mounts for the antenna which is gonna go up there. It's gonna be in between the house and the garage. It's gonna be shooting up like that. And I'm gonna fabricate a couple of mounts on two sides. I don't think I need three, honestly. I don't think I need any, to be honest, but um, I just met with a ham friend of mine and they put up a 50 foot tower on a hinge plate and it's been up for like 20 years, um, 50 feet. With a concrete base on a hinge plate no guy wires nothing but i'm going to be safe and i'm going to put some uh brackets on it with this inch and a quarter tubing and then it's going to take a hurricane to blow it down or more okay so my first mission is going to be to try and peel that plywood form off i got a hammer and a screwdriver and we'll see if I can get that off and see if we can set the base down so I can figure out where I'm going to attach my braces or brackets. Okay, it's going to be interesting. Some of the bolts are a little bit crooked, but uh, I've got the form started. And hopefully Mrs. Capper made this form exactly the size of the base because my intention was for the base to fit in this flat spot so let me finish getting this off and we'll see how it looks okay so there's how she looks um, again my goal is that the base plate fits exactly in the concrete seam there um, we're going to haul it over here and try it, see what happens. I mean, I suppose worst case is I might have to chisel some concrete out. Hopefully that's not the case. Okay, so this is how I hauled it down from the pole barn. Just uh, threw it on the truck, threw a strap in there so it didn't slide and break my back window. It's really easy with two people to handle this size pipe here i mean one guy could do it um if he wanted to but 20 foot section pretty easy to handle still okay so here's the issues right now i've got five out of six in some of the bolts are, are kind of crooked so I, we really had to finagle it that's the worst so i got all five now and then this is the last one so, you know, I could, I had to do a little pounding to get that one in. I could try and pound with the screwdriver, get that over, or I could zip this off with a skill saw. Um, I got plenty, plenty of height up there with threads, so. Or I could try to drill this hole out a little bigger. I'm just going to mull this over for a minute here. Okay, so what I did was I put the bolts on to protect the threads, just tapped them just a tiny bit with the hammer. It was really that corner one and this corner one to straighten them out. Now, in theory, in theory, it should go on much easier. Okay, so now we are seeing... Um, that bow in there just a little and the uh, <clears throat> the base of the bolts could be bent just a little bit more So I'm debating on one more tap. You could see that hole right there and then I got to go get some lock washers and uh, I Want to seat it all the way down then I want to check for level. I Want to see you know how close we're gonna be here and then what I got to do is take my measurements for my brackets and decide how and where I'm going to mount those and I got to weld a, some kind of clamp mechanism on this end and then I got to weld probably a hinge on that end 
a heavy duty one that I could bolt and hopefully find a stud both there and maybe in this corner. We'll see how she goes. Here's a quick look from the side. Well, oh, that's going to be pretty when she's all done. Beautiful. Very nice so far. Stay tuned. This might be all I do here for now. We'll see. Okay, so my help had to go home, which is all right. This, that means this thing is staying here. Um, so now I got my flats and my lock washers. And I'm going to go all the way around. And I'm going to snug this down and take that bow out of the um, about, out of this bottom. I mean, it feels like aluminum, but it's not. It's steel. It just it flexes so it'll be no problem getting it flat and then then the big moment of truth then we're going to check the level stay tuned here here's a little ele elevator music for just a minute Okay, so they are all locked down. Uh, you can definitely tell when they're bottomed out. Then they will not go anymore. And I get a lot of comments from guys, not a lot, but a few that are always saying, what about this? You can't do that. Da, 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 da. And nine times out of ten, I have thought way ahead and have many plans in place. Um, I just don't reveal them right away. You know, because they're the next step or down the road, and sometimes I do respond, sometimes I don't. But so part of the reasons I got the big washers uh, twofold. One obviously is to spread the weight out. You know, if this thing is tipping and wants to rip, um, you know, rip this sheath right off of that bolt, you got a bigger area to hold it down. And the secondly is shims. Um, if I need to tweak this, which I'm hopeful I don't, but if I need to, I could put these shims underneath there and uh, straighten out. But now, now comes the moment of truth. And I'm going to just say, looking at it, it looks pretty dang good for level. But let's get the level. Oh, it looks like i got to clean some concrete off of it. And let's check the level here. Okay, it looks like I owe Mrs. Capper a new level. Um, she's really particular about her stuff. And she bought this one lime green so we could tell which one was hers. And I just grabbed it and used it for concrete. So either that or I'm going to be scrubbing. But now comes the moment of truth. You guys will see it with me. I have not put it on here yet. And crossing my fingers here, all right? Oh boy, we're off there. That's not cool. So that needs to come. The top needs to shift to the left a little bit. Let's try this one. All right, that's good news. This one is nuts on that way. But let's see if it if this also needs to shift. I mean, you can only get it on part of the way, but yes, it looks like the tower needs to go to my left. But this direction, that's the one that needs to go to my right now. But um, I got to walk around this direction. This direction, we are about golden. I mean, when you're talking about a tower, you don't have to get that crazy. So it needs to come, as you're looking at it right now, it needs to go that way just a little bit. Oh, and I can see why they say this is not a self-supporting bracket. I mean, when I wiggle it, okay, look up here. And it's all wiggling on this, uh, you know, this triangle piece. So there is a little bit of slop in there. So that's why I'm going to do bracketing and support it to the house. 
so I don't think I'm gonna mess with it anymore today but uh, I'm gonna have to pull that off I'm gonna have to put a couple shims down on this end the good news is it only is going one direction and not two so I'll probably do one shim in the, these two middle ones and two shims on the end one and hopefully that will do it but since I'm solo right now I'll probably wait for Mike come back tomorrow so stay tuned